Okay, welcome to Master Roots. I'm Kenny. And I'm David. Welcome to our adventures. Uh, what we're going to do is when we go places, film a few things, show you what it's all about. Uh, if you're happy to tag along, subscribe. And you'll get notifications of when we post a visit and our adventures. Uh, in time, we're going to be using the Poppy the Van and Pods the Drone. So hopefully we'll get some good views, let you see some good walks, and just let you see some good sights. So, if you want to be with us, come along for the journey. Yeah. Bye for now. Bye for now. Welcome to Max Root, Kenny and Debbie here. Kenny behind the wheel, Debbie behind the camera. As per usual. As per usual, yeah. Uh, today, the adventure is taking us out towards Loch Lomond. Today, I'm going to go up Connick Hill, get some photographs, bit of Loch Lomond, get some scenery, and show you where it's all like over in that area. So, different slightly route. We're going up the kind of west coast. We pass in Stirling Castle, and there's the old, the big, the today, Kelpies! Just no far from where we stay. So, in a wee while, we'll catch up soon. So, here we are at the bottom of Stirling Castle. Yeah, we're coming this week because we're going to join up for the A811. That takes us towards Loch Lomond. Loch Lomond. So, we pick up that with a just passing the bottom of Stirling Castle and we come up to be round with it. Well, can't really see it from this angle, there it's there. Good old Stirling Castle at uh, 28 in the morning. Well, yeah, a different route and everything this morning from what we normally do. There's a site, Loch Lomond, Loch Lomond and Trossex National Park. Still quiet on the roads because it's early on a Saturday morning. Man's having a pee over there at the wall. <laughs> well, maybe. Yes, he was. You could totally tell he was. Here we go. This is a long there road. They've been down go. here for a long time. Long time. See the sun on the hills away over there. That looks lovely. This is also the way to get to what's that? Fallon Inch Butchers. But yeah, Fallon Inch Farm. Farm. Bye, farm. Mm -hmm. Bye, babe. Sell meat and everything. Yes. Yeah, Lovely. Good to meet that. It's just over there on the, the right hand side. Fallon Inch Farm. This is just a big long road all the way along to um Peter Behetti Balmaha. Mm -hmm. Off at Balmaha. Oh, Balloch, we come over, do we not come over at Balloch? Uh, no, it's... Uh, Balloch further, I can't remember now. It's been that long since we've been... Well, since... I know the road there, I just can't yeah. remember the place. Okay.
This is what we are, we're in Balmaha. It's a big car park we're in. Debbie's park there, because Debbie's not a walker. Not anymore anyway. And we're heading for right at the top of the car park, just where the pay and display signs are, the machine, there's a, a wee walk right at the back you can see. That's where we head, head to the right, follow that, and, and then that'll take you up towards Connick Hill. So, I'll switch on every now and again, get some footage of the rough parts, the easy parts, and hopefully we'll get buzz up in the sky when we get to the top. So, as I say, onwards and upwards. Weekend, it's a parking fees. Well, I'll say this is part of the West Highland Way as well. Whatever way you're going, you can see the old oak tree walk. Yeah. And as before in some of the walks, a bit rough ground, it's not tar, but first up we were in the forest, I wonder if we've seen the Bigfoots. Maybe a bit huffy puffy to get going again. I need to do more, get used to this, but it's hard when you're still working. Right, we'll get there. They say it takes about 40 minutes to get up there at a kind of steady pace. So that's what just really started at uh, 25 past 8. 25 past 8, we'll see what, hopefully if I remember. What time it is when we get to the top. Anyway, let's go. You come at the same post to help you on your way. It's got an arrow. So instead of going that way, we're going that way. Whew, right. Again, it's been a long time since I've been at this one. And I think we've got a way in the distance up there, up on that hill there. So, let's get on. Oh. We're in the forest. I just want to show you how quiet it is. So, I don't know if you can hear, but we'll just go quiet so you can listen to all the birds. I hope you can hear that. Here we get to the first set of stairs, and there's a lot of them, but what I will say is these stairs are awkward because they're not like house stairs, they're like on one, about three feet, up another one, then up another one, so they're actually well spaced out. I think it would actually be better if they were like in your house, if 
where you could actually step them as you go but they're not built that and they're different shapes there's a short one then into a long one then into a three quarters one so they're not evenly spaced then we're heading up into there just at that point there to go through the fence up towards the hill but I there's a lot of steps like that so if you're not happy with the steps it's not a good walking kind of space because of the steps at times and it's quite steep here Whew. and I get through the, the barrier to make it feel better to walk still huffing and puffing here oh, somebody up with their bikes I'm going to concentrate on walking so here's the other stairs that we're going up yep not easy stairs Come around for there, shoot out the forest. Now you can see this part of the lock coming up now. We'll get better views as we go up. Sun's out as well, which is fantastic. No in Scotland, probably get to the top and it'll start raining. But oh, these are the stairs that the Debbie's been up before. She's no a happy bunny trying to climb these. And that was very good when she had a good leg before she broke it. So, oh, here we go. Yeah, I'll need to concentrate up here, so I'll switch off now because the last thing I want to do is do a tumble with these steps. So, see you in a bit. Oh, still climbing the stairs, but as you can see. Oh, there's a look. There's a view now. If I've only come up another 60 feet or something like that. But here we go. I've still got all that to go right up to there. Oh, God. I wish I had wings like the wee birds. Or the big birds. This is what reminds you how unfit you are at times. But I will get there. Determination to get there. Okay. Oh, keep it going. Right, see the top a bit. Right, go to one kind of plateau. But they say 40 minutes. Whew. I've still got up there plus to go. Where I'm at. Let's see what time it is. I've been on the go since 30 minutes. 30 minutes on the go. They say 40 minutes to get away to the top. Not in my lifetime. Maybe when I was younger. But. Loch Lomond's over that way, but we need to go up there to see it all. So, let's get on with it. Oh, there they go, in the distance here. You can see part of Loch Lomond. So that's your first kind of wee glimpse if we just come up. This is getting to the top, so once we get up to there, you'll be able to see near enough the whole of Loch Lomond. So you can see it's a strain. <sighs> Fitness, although be it, you can take your time. You don't have to hurry. But where they say, oh, 40 minutes up, no problem. If you know a fit person, it'll take you a bit longer. So, best idea is take your time. 
bring a wee picnic and rest on the way up. Take as long as you need because believe me I'm puffing. Whew. That's actually no, I don't think it's as high as the devil staircase, but the devil staircase could actually you could keep momentum going. Where this is the ground conditions, the steps. Some of the steps actually down there when we come up there, some of the steps were actually kind of washed out and it was just wood and no steps so you're stepping for one level into a hole I think they need to do a bit of work up here and they fix some of the steps but you can see the rest of it, it's all like boulders and path, wee rough paths that we have to climb what we will see is see I've got my stick okay it is in a younger generation, I never really bothered. But as I've got a bit of a bum knee, I'm trying to do a bit of filming as well and all that kind of stuff. Getting older, is, I'm 58 this year. I would say a stick is handy just to give you a bit of balance. It helps you pull yourself, helps you a wee bit of lean on. Uh, even one stick, two sticks better, but one stick does make a difference. So. If you do have a walk up here and make it a slow walk, use a stick. Believe me, it does help. Right, come on in. We need to get up to the top here. Let's go. Whew, excuse the huffing and puffing here. This was a task in itself. But it probably would say the first kind of major plateau. Uh, up the top there, that's where we're heading. Up there. So I've still got this to go. But, just to give you an idea. Oh, God almighty. Yeah, so. Bear with me. Whew. Right, so we're at major. The first kind of major plateau. What I want to show you is the view. At Loch Lomond, and even if you only get to here and no get to the top, this is the view. So I'll pan round now. So down there is a the road we come in. Have you seen parts of that loch there? And this is Loch Lomond now at the first plateau. But I'll try not to make so much a, a noise when I try to catch my breath. Hear the birds chirping away. It's been a great day for it. And really, filming Disney do it as justice as what it should have. You really need to get up here, make a day out, have a picnic. There's plenty of areas you can stop on the way up, have a drink. Have a sandwich and then carry on. Don't need to be up and down, up 40 minutes, down 40 minutes, because I'm sure it's not going to be me. But there's the view. So, going to get up to the top, going to get Buzz out and get some more. There's somebody way up there now. Don't know if you can see them. That's Two people now, up there. So, whew, that's where we're heading. Somebody's on their way down. At least I'll get there. Don't need to be first, it's not a race. So, let's move on. See you on the way up. Ooh, still going. <laughs> Just got a wee text for Debbie saying it's going like going to be like Soaky Hall Street soon. Is that the car park where she's sitting now? Uh, she's actually sitting making up her intro because we're going to add a, a permanent intro or the same one all the time. So she's uh, she's been tasked to try and work out 
how it's going to look and stuff like that. So she's down there, but she's at the car park. And she says there's loads of people walking up here. And of course, this is a popular walk up to Connick Hill. Uh, is it Loch Lomond? Beautiful sights are a nice go out for a two or three hours. Nice walk. And up we go. Beautiful area. The road that leads down there, you can see, I don't know if you can see the road, there's a road down there. That leads to Miller Rocky Bay, which is just there. And if you keep going round, it's a dead end actually, it goes to River Down River Denon campsite. So basically if that road there you can't go any further than River Denon. You have to turn back. So if you turn down this road, uh, it'll go to, you can go right down to a popular campsite, I think it's a camping caravan camping site, Miller Rocky Bay, which we've stayed at before. And then further down is River Denon. But if you're doing the West Highland Way, you would come over this here, walk right down there to there, and then part of the walk would be to carry on around there. There are some other places you walk over, but yep, it's uh, I can't remember exactly where the walk is, but it's down there, and it takes you river down and. Uh, after that you can actually walk up, you've got to walk, you can't drive, you would walk again the West Highland Way which takes you along to Loch Lomond, you come out of places like Ben Glass Farm and up towards the, oh god I might, Tyndrum, aye up towards Tyndrum, uh, there's another place that comes out, Ben Glass Farm and there's a wigwam place that actually you can stay, camp, get the kitchen facilities, stuff like that. And then they carry on up to Tyndrum and then up to Bridge York. But again, you've got this to contend with. Yeah, either. It depends. What we did is we done different parts each day and we went, got dropped off and went back the way or dropped off and went forward. Or, but we still completed the, the course. But this one's a, this is a challenging one because of the, the ground conditions that we're walking.
well, it's time to head down now. Got some good footage, go buzz up. Uh, hopefully that will turn out quite well, look quite good. Uh, so it's now time for me to head down. It'll be a lot easier than climbing up. So, one last look before I go. We spin round. And then we'll head down now. Hopefully, get a cup of tea at the bottom there. Debbie, I'll be sitting away. Well, Debbie was right. It's uh, starting to get a bit like Socky Hall Street. Uh, you see all the people down there. It's a very popular place. So, lucky for us we got up when we see a bit quieter, but it's all the people coming up now. I like to get up in the morning, get everything done in the morning, and then you've still got a good part of the day. Me and Debbie are definitely morning people, up early, out, go and see what's happening, because usually you get things to yourself a bit more, although be, be it that... Uh, there was a few people up at the same time, it was probably the same idea as us, is get up and out. So, this was Conic Hill. Again, if we kept going up that way, it would take you away, probably to the other side of Balmaha and all the rest of it, and walk up there. Uh, you can go out and come out to one of the main roads. If you know where we're going, oh, sounds like I can hear a goat, some geese up there. Don't know if you.
Uh, what I've got to say is, the 40 minutes, it took me an hour and 20 minutes to get up. Uh, so, 40 minutes, maybe for a fit person. Yep, no problem. 40 minutes for Kenny, on fit. But, at the end of the day, an hour and 20 minutes, yeah, that does, does not bother me. It'll take me less to go down, but uh, definitely no 40 minutes. So, if you are planning a 40 minute walk here, and you've no got the same kind of fitness as all these young people, plan a bit longer, because I'm with the ground conditions here, and it's well worn because this is well used. Uh, it'll take you longer than 40 minutes. But there's nothing wrong with doing it. Take your time. And enjoy. Enjoy the scenery. Stop off, look at it. And just enjoy. But, for now, we're on the way down. And you've got, I think, a bus load. Yeah. Now it's uh, the Highland Express Conic Hill Walk. Socky Hall Street. You need to get something to get a cafe up here. Let make a wee bit of money. Right, concentrate, concentrate. Buy the now. Got to admit, I like the going down part. Yeah, a lot of people up there, foreign people. Uh, I'm not sure where they were from, but they were out, I think, up Corning Hill to get a view of Loch Lomond. They all look happy. Oh, I love going down the way, it makes it a lot easier than going up, but it's still obviously tricky steps, as you can see, go all the way down there to go, and we're losing Loch Lomond, slowly we'll be doing behind that, to that hill, down to the car park where Debbie's in, we can grab a cup of well, I'm kind of desperate for a cup of my hands are getting a bit cold. I can feel the chill coming in. But at least I'm walking, it'll keep me warm anyway. I've got gloves in the, in the bag, but I can't be bothered getting them out. And now, because I'll just keep walking and I'll warm up anyway. Oh god. I do advise people, if they are coming up here, take your time. The conditions of this path, since I was last here, has deteriorated a bit. There's a few things needing fixed, I would say. Uh, even the steps, the wooden steps are not as good as they used to be. So, I think I need to do a bit of work on it. And uh, sort a few things, spend time. Oh, I've got to take that an easy bit. So, if anybody's watching it, takes care of these paths, Cornick Hill, come on, you better repair what needs done on these steps. With the tourism stuff that's in the walkers that are up here, eh, it's getting well used, so it could do a wee bit of repair. Right, switch off here. Because I need to get walking on. See you in a bit. Well, I'm down, I would say, probably the worst part of these steps. I'm going to the woods now. Got a wee bit of steps for that snow, but oh god. 
I can feel it on the calves and the knees again. Although the calves are not as bad, but yep. Oh my god, soon be there, soon be at the park. Oh, right. Come up to the last bit of the stairs. Here's a helicopter. Somewhere gone there, the trees. So I'm on the last of the steps now. Going down, or well, the first one's coming up. You can see the like, see all the misshaped sizes. It's puts you off your stride a bit. Oh. And again, other walkers have loads of people come up here. It's a nice day out. So, back to that bend there, again, there's a wee sign there for, if you're heading back, it's got an arrow point to the right. I don't actually know where that goes, never been that way, but there's a wee arrow there, point that way, so... We're heading back again, Socky Hall Street. It's a well used area. Well, as you can see, come down there's a car park in there. So, we're just about there. All good, so that's taken me just a quarter of an hour to get down. All good. So here we go to car park. Hopefully Debbie's got some videos on with the GoPro. She was going to take a walk uh, and get some videos of some of the, the, the bay and stuff like that. But, first of all, we'll get some more of it, take for a couple. There's Debbie sitting in the car, reading a book. She's just bought a book, she's got into reading again, so she's bought a book. So, that's us finished at Balmaha, Kenny's done his climb up Conic Hill. In fact, I think that's it over there, somewhere, like that, I think. Oh, yep. Um, we had a wee walk at the loch and saw Tom Weir. The statue. The statue, anyway, of Tom Weir, yeah. Tom Weir, have you seen him? Maybe a ghost, you see? Yep. So he's got his wee memorial thing there for him, because he was a, a famous walker. Promoted Scotland and Promoted, walks. And yep. Stuff like that. So I've just had a cup of tea, I'm going to have my pot noodle, and then we're heading home. Yeah, so still got the rest of the day to go, uh, but we're getting the, the grandson tonight. But a nice leisurely stroll back in the car, or stroll, or drive back, drive in, the back in the car. Drive back in the car. And uh, we'll see you at the Kilpies. Yep, bye for now.
Well, that's us back home again. As you can see, there's the Kelpies again. So that means we are nearly home. So for today, all I can say is uh, the max were out again. And if you wish, subscribe. But it's goodbye for Kenny and goodbye from Debbie. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye.